the 11.35 London Paddington to High Wycombe. Normally empty, but here rail enthusiasts from across the country turned out to say goodbye. And for this special occasion, it was allowed to leave from Platform 1. Well, everything else is still there. Some came from as far away as North Wales. These trains are called parliamentary services, and they're rare. I just find them very, very novel. Like, they, they shouldn't be here, but they are because of kind of all the government regulation of being so hard to close track. This is the very last train. It's the romance of railways that attracted me. I've been all over the country doing parliamentaries. I got a chance to come down, so I thought, come down, travel on this. There, ticked it off. Where are you? Ever time. Where are you from? Uh, from North Wales. Oh, OK, you come all this way? Yeah. Just for this parliamentary service? Yep. This Chilton service has run once a day in the week on what was historically the New North Main Line. It opened in 1905. But the opening of London Underground Central Line right next to it took its passengers. Usually, this service attracts very few commuters. There's 200 or so rail enthusiasts on board this parliamentary service. They're sometimes also known as ghost trains and there's just a handful of them left on the network. And the idea is it's cheaper to run the train, say, once a week than to close the line entirely. Work for the high-speed rail link HS2 means most of the track will now be demolished. To close a railway or to close a station is quite a convoluted process, a lot of admin, a lot of red tape, so in almost all the cases uh, it's cheaper for the railway company to run a limited service like one train a day or in some cases like one train a week and in some cases no trains at all, just a, re a permanent replacement bus service than it is to actually go through the Act of Parliament to close the line. Ghost trains aren't dead though in this part of the capital. Some of the new North Main Line will remain and from Monday once a day, there'll be a parliamentary service between South Ryslip and West Ealing. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.